Hi everyone, glad to see you. It's Michael from the Recovery team, back with more practical data solutions. Now, videos are surrounding us, and I'm pretty sure you watch a lot of downloaded videos, or probably you stream a lot of content online, or probably during these nice stay at home days, you're looking into a lot of your archives and recordings. Favorite MP4 files from your GoPro, or probably some videos which were shot with your favorite DSLR. No matter what we use, we sometimes have encountered an issue with playing back a video file, and more precisely, an MP4. Since MP4 is among the most common video formats, most of the issues you might encounter are exactly related to it. And today's video is about that, how to repair corrupted MP4 files. First thing we need to sort out is why exactly we cannot open an MP4 video file and reasons could be diverse. A possible root cause could be a virus or malware or phone or storage device issues or just an unreliable website we have downloaded it from. Also, there are going to be problems if the MP4 file header or extension is broken or damaged, or if the file was damaged while moving from one source to another, or if we had a network interruption, or the source has been temporarily removed from the place where we are downloading it from, or if there has been an issue with the compression, the editing, the rendering or processing, and the other possible causes, if somebody has changed the file extension or the video format, or used an unreliable third-party software to edit any of these video files. All of these are common and possible reasons of why you can't open your MP4 video files we didn't mention the most common one though. Uh, imagine you're shooting a video with the camera, the battery goes down, the camera cannot recall the video until the end, and then you get a nice, beautiful, large, unreadable MP4 file. So the question is how to recall that? Well, most of the time, if the file has been downloaded from the internet, the easiest way is to try to re-download it from the very same source, and let's say that gives success in more than 50% of the cases. Or alternatively, if the video file that is corrupted was on your SD card, try to copy it again. If that doesn't work, hang on, because we're starting the troubleshooting and I'll present you a few ways of how we can recover these MP4 files. Let's start with the first method and see how we can fix a corrupted MP4 with VLC Media Player. This is a freeware multi-platform software, meaning that doesn't matter if you use Mac OS or Windows as an operating system. Just download, install, Launch VLC. Once you have it running, hit the media from the menu bar, scroll down to the convert and save option. The convert video wizard is going to open up and you need to add your corrupted video. After adding, click convert, save and proceed. You should give a name to the file and then click the start button. This is going to convert your file into AVI format. Now, open VLC, head on to the Tools menu, followed by the Preferences. Select the option Always Fix in the Damaged or Incomplete AVI file option and select the Save button. Now you can try to play the repaired video to see if that works. Does it work? Well, if not, we keep on trying. The next option is to copy the file in order to gain accessibility. Here's how to do that. Make a copy of your original MP4 file and rename it to AVI. Open VLC, choose Preference from the Tools menu, go to Input Codex tab, choose Always Fix and hit on the Save button and I'll try to play the video in order to find out if everything has been fixed. If these two completely freeware methods do not work and do not help, our recommendation would be to use a professional-grade software to try to recover your MP4 files. There are a number of options on the market, but we can recommend the best out of these, which is our Wondershare video repair software. This tool is available for Windows and Mac OS and comes to rescue your corrupted MP4 files, no matter what, within just a few clicks. It supports a wide range of file formats, completely secure to use, and let's see how that works. Let's open the tool. On the interface that appears, we need to click in the center where we see the message Add Video and Start Repairing, or alternatively, we can hit on the Add button at the bottom left side of the interface. When we add the video file, you're going to be shown the details of our file, the path, the size, the created date and more information. We can now click on the Repair button, which is available at the bottom, and when the repairing is done, we're going to be asked 
to preview and save the video, so we hit OK to proceed. We're going to be able to notice the mini triangle icon. This is going to help us preview the video content to check if everything is alright. If everything is good, then we save the video on the PC and we enjoy. In some situations, your MP4 files could be really badly damaged. So in these cases, we simply go and choose the Advanced Video Repair option. Here's how to do that. We go ahead and we select the Advanced Repair link at the right corner of the screen. Then we hit the folder icon and get the sample video to be added. We click the Repair button and now the Advanced Repair is going to start doing its job and magic to repair the corrupted video. Then we hit the Save button and choose the path where we want the file to be preserved. So yeah, bad things happen in life and it's important that we have the right software in order to overcome these troubles. And our video repair solution is the one addressing the most common issue that often happens with you know, action cameras or DSLRs, especially if you have captured beautiful MP4 videos. Well, I really hope this video was fun for you and even more hope that this tutorial has helped you to recover your broken MP4 files. If that's the case, then make sure to say a good word in the comments below. If you have any questions, again, we're reading. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do it in order to get more practical data solutions. My name is Michael. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye.